going on, y'all? Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get em -ism number 902. For March 23rd, 2017. Alright, I want to talk to y'all about some strange goings on in the world and how to and why we should stay focused and not fall for the okie doke. Hope y'all can hear me out here, it's a lot of noise. Doing these out, we do, we're doing this outside, of course, in beautiful North Philly, in front of an old, an old tour now uh, warehouse, train station, train going by over there, cars going by over there, and trains. It's a whole lot of chaos, so I have to make sure I speak loud enough so so y'all can hear me. But what inspired me to do this video was different than the radio show we did this morning. We're talking about a different topic this morning on a radio show, but I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute about why we have to watch the things that we hear and the things that we see, especially a lot of the things that are going on in politics and the media, politics and the media right now, like uh, in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia, our district attorney is getting ready to be indicted, well, he, he actually currently has been indicted, indicted for theft. Like the district attorney, the guy who sends people to jail, the guy who locks people up, he's being, he, he is about to be sent to jail, he's about to be tried, and if he, and, and if he is convicted, he's facing years in jail, like what kind of mess is that? It kind of made me almost want to, want to see him not resign, or not retire, or whatever he's going to do to try to escape, escape prosecution, or escape his pension and all of that being taken away. These public servants, these pl public servants like him, and we see everything that's going on with Donald Trump. Donald Trump can't stay uh, out of the news, y'all. Ever since like 2014, we've been watching Donald Trump, Donald Trump on TV every single day. And when you see something like this, I don't know about y'all, but when I see something like that, my antennas go up. Because we know my believers, us conspiracy people, we always feel like whenever they make you concentrate on one thing, that means that they're doing something else in the background. And I want to touch on that a little bit because I think that not only are they doing something in the background, I don't think that we'll be able to even pinpoint what they're doing in the background. Because while we're spending so much time believing, while we're spending so much time believing that Donald Trump and his cohorts in you know his in his cabinet, while we think that they are being investigated for ties going to Russia, and that we figure, well, the the thing that's going on with Russia is not what we should be concentrating on. We should be concentrating on these executive orders that he's signing behind the scenes. But I don't even think that that's it. I can't even really say what's going on behind the behind the scenes. You know, it's like. It's like that old game. Remember that old game when we played when we were younger? It says it's Throwback Thursday. Remember this game? You would put an object in one hand. You put an object in one hand. Put it behind your back. And somebody was supposed to pick which, which hand it was in. So, one thing that's interesting about this game is that when... When people will hold the object in their hand, sometimes when they put their hand behind their back, they wouldn't they, they would stuff whatever the object was in their back pocket. So it wasn't in either hand. Sometimes they would make a hand look like it was open more, so you would pick that hand because it looked like you were holding something in one hand, but it was really in the other hand. And that's how I think that we being played as far as politics and the media are concerned. And I'm not getting into all of that about you know, Democrat or Republican because there is no such thing as Democrat or Republican. They, they are all driven by the same machine. And when you don't understand how that machine works, you think that one is offering you something or trying to give you something that the other one isn't. And that's just not true. They're all in the same gang. All in the same gang. I mean... Even if you take the Bloods and the Crips, they're all gangsters. They're all gangsters. But it's worse than the Bloods and the Crips because the Bloods and the Crips are really against each other. 
fighting for total negativity, you know, territorial things, um, um, drugs, and, and, and all kinds of chaos. But Democrats and Republicans are fighting to be able to take over your mind. They're fighting for your mind state. And I know a lot of y'all have heard, heard these things before, and it sounds like, you know, people just not having any respect for govern, government or not wanting to take any, any particular sides. Well, I, I do take sides. I take sides of the people because we're the only ones that are affected by this. And that's the difference between people like me and the government. The government doesn't care about people. The government cares about money. The, the government cares about money. Everything that they do is about money. If you don't believe what I'm saying, then you have to take, you have to just take a look at, at, at what you're really seeing. For example, whenever a law is made, whenever a bill is paid, I mean, whenever a bill is passed, the first question that comes up when the bill is presented is who's going to pay for it? They don't tell us that that's, that's the conversation that takes place. What they tell us is, how is it going to affect our taxpayers? You know, and all that stuff about the IRS and all of that. The IRS, if, if, if all of my accountants, all of my accountants and people who work for the, for the IRS, y'all need to stop playing. Yeah, really, y'all need to stop playing. You know, represent for a change. I realize that it may take some money out of your pocket, but it's really not because nobody's going to believe but when we pay our taxes, the taxes, our tax money doesn't go towards infrastructure, roads, bridges, or, or, or schools and all that. That's not where the money goes. The, mo the money that you pay that goes to the IRS goes to pay off the debt of the United States. There's so much more to this, man, a straw man and all. Listen, I, I, I don't have enough time to go into all of this, but the bottom line is this. If you don't get anything from this video, the main thing that I want you to get from this video is always search for truth. Anything that they show you on those news programs, that's not the truth. They may have some truth in it, but they, they're not going to give you the truth because if they give you the truth, they stand a chance of being shut down. They stand a chance of losing money. And money is all that matters in the media. So, so if money is all that matters in the media and money is all that matters in politics, then where does that leave you? Because ultimately, you and your family, your loved ones, your community, your people, that's what you have to be concerned about. Now, if they are your concern, and you're concerned about more than just money for them, because contrary to popular belief, more than money makes the world go round. Because there's still love. There's still affection. There's still community, community orientation. In other words, there's still unity amongst people. People say that black people don't have any unity. That's not true. It's not true. We, we're united in a lot of different fronts. We're just not united for a specific cause. So we, can, we can't have leaders that will steer us in a certain direction. Some of us don't believe that leaders are even necessary. In other words, we're, 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 um, we're not unified as far as having a common cause, a common goal, and exactly having having unity in what we all think that we want. But we are unified in certain groups, certain organizations. Certain families are unified. Certain communities are unified. We just can't get it together as a people. But as we learn and as we grow and as we learn to accept each other and as we realize that we really are all we have and all we have ever had, then maybe, maybe one day, one by one, we can become unified. Once we learn to put away our petty differences, and most of our differences are petty, all of the ones that separate us all, all that stuff is really lit stuff. It's all, it's all slave mentality stuff. So I just wanted, to, uh, just wanted to talk to y'all today on this Daily Go get -emism. And if you don't get anything out of this video for the day, Get this out of this video. Politics don't involve people. They involve people as far as as far as who fuels politics. But politicians don't care about people, they care about money. Everything political is money driven. Every single thing. 
So we can get behind these, these politicians all we want and talk about how great they are, how wonderful they are, how much they want to help us. But at the end of the day, you'll be the only one that makes money for you. You'll be the only one that puts food on your table. You'll be the only one that puts clothes on your back, gas in your car, and all of that kind of stuff. Okay? Uh, there are no politicians that can do that for you. Well, not at the presidential level, not at the federal level. Possibly on the local level, many of you have probably may have had favors done for you locally. But that's unity within itself. You see, the closer you are to the situation, the more the more gifts that you can receive. But on the federal level, it doesn't work that way. And even with that, Some of you may may have had multiple uh, trash trash pickups in your area and don't have that. That's because it costs money. Everything in politics is money driven. Everything in life. Oh, one last thing. If you find if, if you follow the money, you'll find you'll, you'll find the truth. Follow the money, find the truth. That's why they call it a paper trail. That paper is money. You know, it's not documents and all of that. It's the money. You find out who's paying for things, and you'll find out why it even exists. All right, so that's enough. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, politics is all about money. Don't forget, don't, don't believe anything that the media tells you without investigating it yourself and investigating it to the point where you are going over it with a fine-tuned comb. Because that's the only way you're going to find the truth. If the truth is, is what you're interested in in the first place. I'll let y'all, man. It's a pretty nice day today, though.